Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is May the 1st of 2023, and I'd like to share another prophetic word with you this morning. I hope everyone is doing well and experiencing the blessings of God. A big thank you to those who continue to follow this channel and continue to express words of encouragement to keep this channel going. May you be richly blessed of the Lord as you continue to seek His face and His heart. The Lord has been speaking about His plan and purpose to raise up His church in this day to bring us into victory as he pours his glory out upon us. This word today addresses the household of God, and though the Lord is raising his true church up, he is also bringing his judgment to those who have perverted his word, who have infiltrated the church, changing doctrines and leading his people astray. The Bible tells us that God cannot be mocked. And so I pray that as you hear this word today, you who truly belong to the Lord will be encouraged. And for those who are guilty of perverting the message of salvation, may the Lord give grace for repentance. May you be blessed as you listen today. This word is titled, A Great Falling Away. I'll begin by reading scripture. Malachi 4, verses 1 through 3. Surely the day is coming, it will burn like a furnace. All the arrogant and evil doers will be stubble, and that day that is coming will set them on fire says the Lord Almighty. Not a root or a branch will be left to them, but for you who revere my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings, and you will go out and leap like calves released from the stall. Then you will trample down the wicked. They will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I do these things says the Lord Almighty. This passage of scripture from Malachi is a promise of God's blessing upon the righteous, but it is a warning to those who do evil that the Lord will come with his holy, purging fire. 2 Peter 2 verses 1 through 3 But there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their depraved conduct and will bring the way of truth into disrepute. In their greed, these teachers will exploit you with fabricated stories. Their condemnation has long been hanging over them, and their destruction has not been sleeping. This scripture verse from the New Testament speaks of false prophets and false teachers amongst the body of Christ, warning that their destruction is forthcoming. I'll begin reading the word. Hear the word of the Lord. In this day many will come in sheep's clothing, but they are not of me, says the Lord. They are not in line with my word. Their hearts are far from me, and there is no fruit of repentance in their lives. I am weeding out the fields and bringing only what is mine into the barns. This is the day of judgment upon the household of God. It is a day of reckoning. All that has been stolen from my own 
will be brought back. Do not harden your heart in the day in which I do this thing. Your labors will not go unrewarded. Your prayers for your children shall be heard and answered, for you have found favor in my sight. I see your heart's cry for the children, for the strays who have no home. I have heard your cries, and I am coming to heal the land, says the Lord, to turn the heart of the father back to his children. I have longed to hold them in my arms, to gather them under my wing, as a mother hen her chicks. I am coming, and I will sweep them up into my arms. I shall love them back to wholeness, and make a home for them. I am the good shepherd. I look after my sheep. The lost sheep belong to me. I am bringing them into the fold. I am gathering them up, and I am raising up many in the mission to reach the lost. Who is like the Lord? Who can comprehend his ways? Who is able to understand the scope of his purposes in this day? His ways are far above the ways of men. His purposes are unto eternity. There are no bounds to the work of his hands. Many stand on the sidelines and scoff at the testimony of my workings in this day. They are without understanding and unable to see and understand the plan of God. They continue to stumble and fall, for they are blind to the movings of my spirit, says the Lord. A great falling away is coming to the body of Christ. Many will turn and walk away from the things being revealed in this day. They will not listen to the voice of the prophets. They will not heed the instruction given through the messengers I am sending forth in this day. They will not recognize the error of their ways, even though it is pointed out to them time and time again. This is a day like no other, for in this day every high and lofty thing is coming down, and those who refuse to repent and turn from their wicked ways will be washed away with the flood waters that are coming, for a great tidal wave is coming upon the earth. It is a wave of judgment that will bring down the high and lofty, and everything that exalts itself. All fleshly works will be washed away in its flood waters. Those who have faithfully stood the test, who have not denied my name in the face of adversity, will shine like the sun. They shall exemplify the Lord, for he shall be their portion, and they shall live and breathe and have their being in him. No longer will one say to the other, Know the Lord, for they shall see him, and they shall know him, and they shall walk in his ways. But the unrepentant of heart shall not enter into the joy of his presence, for they do not see the error of their way, and they remain blind and in darkness, because they have not heeded the word of the Lord. Love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. These are my commandments unto you. If you obey these, you will enter into life, for you shall be innocent of the accusations against you. Many have raised themselves up against me. They have taken it into their own hands to judge the prophets, and they have judged unrighteously. You will see them removed from your midst. They shall be taken out, says the Lord, for they have aligned themselves up against my elect and have chosen to justify their acts of disobedience. I am raising up others to take their place. You will see this in your midst. Those who were will be no more. For I am removing the stumbling blocks. I am removing those who have used the flowing of my spirit 
as an instrument to gain popularity. They have no concern for the sheep, but care only for themselves, that they might gain a reputation for themselves. I have given them time to repent, but they refuse to humble themselves before me. They looked for gain, but they will lose even what they have, and it will be given to another. Those who walk in the flesh will undergo great tribulation, for everything will be stripped away from them, and they shall be left naked, says the Lord. My spirit is moving all over the earth, and the earth groans as my spirit moves forth to tear down every idol in the temple. There will be no other gods besides me. I am a jealous God, and I am afflicting punishment upon those who continue to serve other gods. I am a consuming fire, and I am consuming my people in this day. Everything that does not bear fruit and every dead work will be burned to ashes. Beware of dogs who will pervert justice. They will gladly give and take bribes. Just as King Belshazzar received the news that his kingdom was being taken over and given to another, and the handwriting was on the wall, so is the handwriting on the wall in this day. For the kingdom is being given to another, to reign and rule in righteousness. Those who remain loyal to the unrighteous king will fall with him. No longer will the ungodly rule, but I am raising up those who will reign and rule in righteousness, those who will do the Lord's bidding and not use their positions of authority as a means to selfish gain. You will see that just as a leaf is turned over in the wind, the turnover of those in positions of authority. For I am upheaving the old structure and turning leadership over to those of my choosing. And just as the colors of the leaves turn in the fall, so quickly will the turnover be. I have reserved many who have not bowed the knee to Baal, who will accompany those who are raised up. I have reserved many who will stand firm, for there shall be confrontation. These shall not back down under pressure, for I have revealed to them my plan to minister to those coming into the kingdom, to train them up in the way of the Lord, to equip them, and to send them out to bring in from out of the cold even greater numbers of sheep. I am preparing a safe place and a watering hole for these sheep, and they will be fed and cared for in this place, says the Lord. I am working in the hearts of my people, fanning into flame a fire for this work, and they shall do the work of tending the vineyard. I am doing it, says the Lord. I am raising up an army in this day that will go forth in power and anointing to tear down the strongholds and to trample them underfoot. No longer will those who have tried to hinder the works of God bottle up the wine for themselves, but the bottles will be smashed and broken and the wine will be poured out into the streets for the poor. Get ready. The sword is about to be let loose. My judgment has come, and it will be swift, says the Lord. This word today speaks of a turnover, a turnover of unrighteous rulership into the hands of the godly, because the Lord is coming in judgment to judge those who have not been faithful to the gospel truth, who have perverted it and led God's sheep astray. 
Jesus tells us that he is the good shepherd and that he will look after his sheep. And so he is coming into the household of God to address this issue. The Bible tells us that in the last days there will be scoffers and mockers. Those who justify their unrighteous acts against the elect of God. But the Lord is coming through for us and to cleanse his church of unrighteousness. And so I hope this word today will encourage those of you who are clinging to the Lord because there will be a great falling away as the Lord continues to move through the body of Christ with his holy fire. My prayer is that we will have the discernment of God to discern truth from a lie, right from wrong, and that we will choose what is right in his sight. For this is the day of God's judgment for the household of God. And his desire is that none who belong to him should be lost. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.